Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so I'm happy to say that finally after 8 beta cycles Apple has released iOS 14.4 update so yesterday night I had applied the update and here you can see this is the screenshot of the update so in this video I'm going to talk about this update and as you all know that this update is filled with ton of features and exclusively that you know all of us were waiting for that you can unlock your iPhone with Apple Watch considering the pandemic situation so in this video i'm going to talk about all of that i'm using my iPhone 10r on which i had received the update and as you can see that this update came in a size of around 1.25 gigabytes now it depends on which version you are coming from if you are on iOS 14.4.2 it would be about the size that you are seeing right here that is 1.25 gb so let's get started with the video but before that if you are new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also if you are new here i would love to have you subscribed with that being said let's get right into the video All right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and let me go to the about section as you can see the software version is 14.5 and the new build number is 18E199 now the good thing is that with this update we also got a new modem firmware update that is 3.03.05 this is the new modem firmware number so i had taken couple of screenshots let me show you that as you can see before the update the software version was ios 14 14.4.2 and the modem firmware was 3.02.02 wherein now the modem firmware version is 3.03.05 now also if i talk about the available storage space before updating the iphone it was 29.57 gb now after updating as you can see it has Uh, you know decreased a little bit so the available space is 29.22 gb so that's about that i'm happy to report that then again we have a new modem firmware update so apart from this there is one thing that i would like to share with you yesterday when i updated and after updating once i came to this you know general and about section i automatically got this pop up which says network provider settings update and it says new settings are available would you like to update them now so what i did i actually clicked on update and automatically it updates so many of you might be having questions how to get this update this is not a separate update this is just a patch fix for maybe a selected carrier or maybe a selected network that you are using on your phone i am using vodafone india so once i updated my phone to ios 14.5 and came to the about section automatically this pop up came and you just need to click on update it takes some time and gets you the new modem firmware along with the new network settings so that's about that now in this video i'm going to talk about you know some of the new features because there are a lot of new features it's not possible for me to cover all the features maybe i'll make a separate video for that but in this video one by one let's talk about some of the new features so the first feature has to be if i go to this face id and passcode okay let me put my passcode okay so once you go to this face id and passcode as you can see if you come down you can you know unlock your iphone with apple watch so it says the apple watch which is my apple watch and use it says that use the secure connection to your apple watch to unlock iphone when wearing a mask prevents face id from recognizing your face you watch must be nearby on your wrist unlocked and protected by a passcode so uh, many of you might be knowing that also i'm having an apple watch series 3 which i'm wearing right now and also i have a mask over here so let me just grab my mask so as you can see this is a mask that i have got for this video so let me just demonstrate that so let me just wear my mask all right guys so now i'm wearing a mask so for you to see let me just turn on the front facing camera as you can see So as you can see I'm wearing a mask right now as you can see no now let's lock this iPhone and let's try to unlock it with our mask on so now if i do this as you can see it gives me a pop up which says um lance iphone unlocked by this apple watch as you can see over here so this is the new feature that i wanted to talk about and this is the main feature of ios 14.5 
if you are having an apple watch then you can have this advantage considering the pandemic situation if you would like to you know unlock your iphone with the mask on then you can go to this face id and passcode and come down a little bit which says uh, the apple watch option turn this on and for you to have this feature your apple watch must be updated to watch os 7.4 no worry a watch os 7.4 video is already coming soon on my channel so stay tuned for that so this was the main update so apart from this there are many few changes here and there that i was able to notice so if you scroll down the settings menu now there is a separate settings for tv provider as you can see now if i click on that it gives me a list of countries unfortunately i don't see my country which is india so as of now it is not supported on india but as you can see the list of countries on which it is supported actually you can connect your tv provider if you are living in one of this country so that's new now there are some other features as well now if i go to the cd and search as you can see cd can now announce calls so if you are on headphones or if you are would like to announce the call always or never as you can see for me it is selected to never so earlier this option was not there siri was only able to announce the messages but if you can come down to the siri and search now after updating you can see this new option which says siri can now announce calls now again if i go to this voice model let me show you that we have got you know two extra voice models as you can see in this american model earlier we used to had this voice one and voice two apart from that now we have voice three and voice four now if you tap on one of this it will give you a demo voice so let me just show you that hi i'm siri choose the voice you'd like me to use hi i'm siri choose the voice you'd like me to use hi i'm siri Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. So as you can see in Siri and search there's quite a few update that you are able to see. So apart from that there are not lot of many changes on the settings page. Now the main changes would be in the music option. So I don't have a Apple Music subscription, but if you have Apple Music subscription, they have changed the search menu quite a bit. Now the search categories have changed a bit. Now you can search wise the categories and the menu looks refreshing and also things like that. Now let's talk about the podcast application. So let me find my podcast application if I search here as you can see now the podcast application has changed also a little bit if i go to this browse category as you can see things are looking a little bit new if i go to any tab and you can from here this menu you can subscribe to this particular series of podcast and you can follow you can share a link you can copy this link and you can report a concern if you have so there are many changes in the podcast application as well as music application and now talking about the in general performance it has been really good i have been using i 14.5 and it has been really a polished experience because apple has really worked on this update they had worked for like 8 beta cycles after 8 beta cycles they had released this iOS 14.5 and it is supposed to be a very polished version of iOS 14 now if i go to the settings and let's talk about the battery so battery life is something that i generally usually take 4 to 5 days once i update my iOS so let me go to the battery health section and as you can see is still my capacity battery capacity is 90% and it is supporting peak performance capability so then again let me again remind you that this iOS updates does not degrade your battery life this iOS updates actually rechecks the physical capacity of the battery so as you can see the battery graph looks like this the average screen on time is 4 hour 39 minutes now if i go to the last 10 days i have been getting a screen on time of 4 hour 48 minutes then again i will make a separate battery life video after using this iOS 14.5 few days and i will use it and test it with few other applications so that you guys can get a good idea how the battery life so talking about the performance as i said before there is no issue and lag with the performance the lag and which was present throughout the operating system on previous iOS versions those are gone and this looks really a very polished experience overall now there are many other nifty and little iOS 14.5 features that i know that i have missed out on this video so let me know in the comment section whether you have updated your iPhone to iOS 14.5 and i will make sure that i will do a follow up review on this iOS 14.5 after using this iOS 14.5 on my iPhone 10R 
for like uh, four to five days so then again i hope you generally like this video and as you can see this phone is running very fine with ios 14.5 let me know which of the iphone you are using and have you yet updated to ios 14.5 or not so then again i hope you enjoyed this little video if you do enjoy this video give this video a thumbs up and also if you're new here do consider subscribing to the channel because that motivates me to make more of this kind of videos and with that being said i will see you on my next video bye